Joined with the Bristol Channel and the Atlantic Ocean meet, Lundy Island is renowned for its isolated location, its breathtaking landscapes and its incredible wildlife. The warm currents of the surrounding waters supports a vast marine habitat and this has led to Lundy being named as the UK's first marine conservation zone in order to protect the rare and wide variety of wildlife. You find a lot of rare species here that you don't get around other UK islands or indeed the mainland uh, and we have um, five of the rarest hard corals to be found in the UK all here at Lundy and of course we get a lot of cetaceans uh, and mammals such as our Atlantic grey seals. Lundy is home to a breeding colony of over 120 grey seals. If you are visiting Lundy, the ideal time to see them is when the tide is out. However, you can also spot them as you arrive in the landing bay as they peep out of the water for an inquisitive look at visitors. In 1994, a zoning scheme was set up around Lundy to ensure that people are aware of the wildlife around and how they can conserve it by allocating several zones for different activities. These include the refuge zone, where fishing is banned, except from potting and angling. The recreational zone, where the same rules apply, but with an added awareness of other water users. The general zone, which bans spear fishing. Archaeological protection zones, where no fishing or diving is allowed, unless a license is acquired and the no-take zone, which makes it illegal for people to remove any living species from this area. Um, the the no-take zone, which is the real kind of heart of the whole thing, is on the, the east side of the island. Although this was uh, had mixed reactions at the time, it's actually proving very good for, especially things like the lobsters. We're getting much larger lobsters and more landable lobsters within this zone. And because these animals are territorial, as they get bigger, they're pushing other large lobsters out of the no-tank zone. And now they're repopulating the areas around Lundy itself. Lundy has also been designated a special area of conservation and a site of special scientific interest due to its wildlife, including the many seabirds it is home to. Um, we've got around 3,000 guillemots breed on the island and this is them nesting on the ledges behind us. Uh, and then around 1,000 pairs of uh, razorbills and about 400 pairs of kittiwakes you see. We also have uh, puffins in here. This is our probably main, the heart of our puffin colonies up on the top, top of the cliffs up here. With its spectacular scenery and wonderful wildlife, Lindy Island is a haven for marine life and as a place where it is continuing to flourish, the future is relying on the continuing conservation work.